Hey there, so in this video I'm going to quickly go over the AMP for WordPress um, email opt-in forms plugin. So if you're not familiar with uh, AMP, what it is is Accelerated Mobile Pages and it's a, an open source initiative that was released by Google in partnership with WordPress and several other um, major online publishing platforms um, just to create super, super streamlined ways of delivering web pages to mobile devices. So the way you'd set that up on um, WordPress, um, the easiest way that I've found so far is with the AMP for WordPress um, plugin here, um, which I've recommended before. And um, that kind of partners with the official WordPress plugin um, just to create a super optimizable, um, customizable way of, of integrating all of this technology with your website. And to give you a quick example of what that might look like in reality, um, here we have um, one of the AMP pages on my website. So this is for an article, you can see it's got the logo, um, you've got the menu there, you can scroll down, it's got sharing buttons, all optimized um, to be shown on a smaller screen device. Um, but if I flick over to how that would look with my traditional desktop or uh, mobile responsive site, you can see here there's actually quite a lot of things left over which aren't necessary um, potentially or just kind of crowd up the smaller real estate so we've got the sharing buttons on the side here they're overlaying these breadcrumbs this menu's a bit tall maybe this isn't necessary you've got a messenger button sharing and you can see the content kind of gets lost below the fold um, as well as all these extra elements taking up loading time so having a, an amp page just makes everything a lot simpler um, a lot a lot quicker to load and a lot easier for people to consume um, so that's the benefit of AMP, but one of the problems has been um, you can't integrate an email opt-in form, or at least you couldn't for the longest time. Um, so a couple months ago I, I got set up with the, the AMP for WordPress plugin, um, and it's great, it's got loads of hooks, and, and uh, you can have, put in your own functions if you're a developer. And within a couple hours I'd, I'd managed to code up something workable um, that would provide uh, opt-in form functionality for WordPress. Um, on the AMP, but it wasn't uh, a simple drag and drop. It wasn't something that I could happily roll out to um, hundreds of clients or even get them to set up themselves. Um, so really I was looking for another solution and then that's when I heard about the uh, email opt-in forms um, plugin that was released by the creators of the AMP for WordPress plugin. Um, so I got in touch uh, with them, reached out to get a demonstration and they were very kind um, to support me in that. Um, and as you can see here, it allows you to create simple opt-in forms. You can use it with multiple providers. Here it's got listed MailChimp. I'm using ActiveCampaign. They're adding new ones all the time. Um, you, you choose where it goes. You can have multiple forms um, and different designs, etc., etc. So I'm just going to jump in behind the scenes and so you can actually see how that works in reality. So this is the, the AMP for WordPress um, dashboard on the back end. Um, generally, all of your options for um, moderating the, the standard styles of AMP for WordPress are under this getting started menu. You can see there's SEO, analytics, um, all the things like that. But it adds this new AMP for AMP opt-in um, section where you can actually optimize and design your opt-in form. So we see here there's different styling colors. You can literally click on them, choose whatever you want. I'll cancel that for now. Um, you can choose where that loads, so should it automatically be shown in content, I've gone for yes. Um, which opt-in form you want to show by default, so you can have multiple opt-in forms um, and you can have them at different places throughout your content. Um, so based on the settings that I've set up here, we've got it automatically showing, we've got my standard AMP form um, and I want it showing up halfway through the content at the bottom of the content. So if I flip back to the other screen, here we have the AMP um, mobile page, and if we scroll through my article, there's some images and more text, the full content, and then at 50%, you can see here it's integrated this opt-in form um, with the styling options, and then if I scroll down to the bottom of the article, you'll see again it's integrated an opt-in form within the AMP environment. Um, so that people can opt into your marketing list and you can create a long-lasting relationship beyond a single article. Um, so it really is a useful tool. Now you may be wondering where all of this information comes from, the subscribe for updates, keep up to date with blah 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 blah. So I'm going to again switch back to the dashboard um, and you'll see there's actually a new AMP opt-in 
and the sidebar in your menu when you have this active. So here I've created my standard AMP opt-in. I've linked it with an active campaign. You can see there's other providers here. And as I said, they're adding new ones all the time. Um, you just put in a form URL that you've been provided. Um, and then you can put in your, your headline. So I could change this to marketing for modern entrepreneurs and keep up to the world, keep up to date with the world of digital marketing. So you should see that will change when we go back in a second. Um, you can change the labels, so you can have email address, first name, last name, get free updates. So uh, we can change this to, I want it, I want in, that probably makes a bit more sense. So there you go. So we ignore this is from a, another plugin I run, but you can set up your own custom labels, you can set up the headline, everything is completely um, simplified. Hit the update button. And then once that loads, if I go back to the wrong thing, <laughs> uh, if I go back to this over here and refresh the page, you can see it now says marketing for modern entrepreneurs and I want in. So it really is as easy as that um, to change. But say you didn't want to use the, the same opt-in form across your whole website, you actually wanted a different one for different posts or if you wanted to include a specific opt-in on a specific page, for example, content upgrades if, if you want people to opt in for a download related to an article or something like that, um, then what you can do is you can actually create um, extra opt-in forms. So under this opt-in form menu, you can see right now I have the standard opt-in and a lot of extra um, clutter here from the plugins. And we can get rid of that. One tip if you're ever uh, finding yourself in the same position um, is you can remove a lot of the clutter uh, in the screen actions here. And then apply. Sorry, a little side note there. Um, but there you go. So you can see that's a lot more cramp, uh, cramp now. And so right now I've got the standard AMP opt-in and the opt-in form code. And then what that does is it actually provides you with a unique short code. So you can copy and paste that into the body of your content. So you write an article and halfway through you copy and paste that. And then that will only show up where you've pasted the short code. So if you wanted to have um, lots of different opt-in forms, you can then click on this add new opt-in form and create one. So we're going to say it's a content upgrade. Try and get the spelling and casing right. Um, you put in your details, I'm not going to do that here, so let's just say that's good. Um, and then you'd put in your, your headline message, your description as usual, and then all of this will sync through to your data. So you hit publish and you'll see there's uh, a unique opt-in code there. If I hit publish, I'll delete this afterwards obviously because <laughs> it's not going to be effectively working at the moment. Um, but then if I go back to my list of opt-in forms, uh, there's now two different options. This one here, the original has 6133 and this additional one has 6146. So I can copy that um, into the body of uh, my content and people will be able to see that. Um, so for example, if after the first paragraph I wanted to say, hey, if you want to download this guide as, P as a PDF, I could um, have put that into the opt-in um, text and then pasted the short code here and a whole new box would be, appear within my content for people to um, opt into the email marketing list and download content. Um, so I hope that's given you a kind of an overview of how it works. Um, obviously um, AMP's been out for a couple of years now so it's a developing platform but it really has got better over the time. At first opt-in forms weren't allowed at all, then they were allowed. Now we've got great solutions like this for actually building them out with ease. Um, so highly recommended, um, check it out. If you're using AMP for WordPress, if you're not, um, then it's definitely worth checking out the AMP for WordPress plugin itself. Um, as you can see here, 155 star ratings, more than 250,000 downloads. So that's not an insignificant number of websites that are using it, Huffington Post, Deloitte, Marriott, and a few names you'll know there. So yeah, I hope this has been a useful overview. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching.